Good morning and welcome to the Kelly Co Market Update. This week we've had interest rate decisions from central banks in both the UK and the US and both have decided to leave interest rates on hold for the time being. First of all, the Bank of England has decided to leave the UK rate on hold at 0.75%. Not surprising at all to see a lack of change here. There's still a huge lack of clarity over what's going to happen with Brexit. And if the bank doesn't know whether we're going to be staying or leaving, it's very difficult for them to make a decision about what to do with future interest rate policy. So not surprising at all to see the rate staying on hold at 0.75%. Over in the US, the Federal Reserve has decided to leave rates on hold at 2.25%. But what's quite surprising here is the change in the commentary that came along with that rate decision. So if we go back to last year, Jerome Powell was saying that he expected to see four interest rate rises over the course of 2019. However, in the conference that he gave this week, he has reduced that to zero. So he's left rates on hold at 2.25%. And he's now saying he doesn't expect to see any further rate rises in the US. US in 2019. So on the one hand, low interest rates do tend to be quite supportive for stock markets, so arguably a lower rate is a good thing. But on the other hand, it is slightly worrying that the Federal Reserve does not think that the US economy could withstand any further rate rises at the current point in time. So I think the market was a bit confused about how to deal with that news. On the balance, the market did rise a bit, but I think people are starting to get a little bit concerned about the impact of the US-China trade war on the state of US growth. One of our key investment themes at the moment is water. So we were quite interested in some comments made at the annual WaterWise conference that took place in London this week. The head of the Environment Agency gave quite a long speech. And in that, he said that if the UK carries on as it is, we will not have enough water to meet our needs within the next 25 years. So he said at the moment, the average person in the UK uses 140 litres of water per day. And if you can have a look at this chart, you can see the breakdown of where that water goes. So he said one of the key aims of WaterWise is to encourage people to get that down to 100 litres of water per day. But aside from that, he said there are also many things that companies and governments can be doing. For example, we could be spending money on reducing the amount of water that is wasted through leaks. So over a quarter of our water in the UK is wasted due to leaking pipes. And he also said we could be using new products or new technologies that will help us to use less water when we're doing things like the laundry or washing dishes. So it does appear that for companies helping to solve these problems, for example, companies like Xylem or Ecolab, there is quite a significant future opportunity. And finally, last week, some changes were made to the UK's inflation basket. And we always like to look at this because it gives an idea of what people are spending more money on in the UK and what they're spending less money on. So in the recent changes to the basket, we saw that herbal tea and popcorn were added. So that really shows that people are starting to focus more on healthy eating. We also saw that smart speakers were added and hi-fi was taken out. So that really shows that streaming music is becoming more popular and buying physical music such as CDs is really starting to die out. We saw that the three-piece sofa suite has been removed from the inflation basket and I think that demonstrates the point that people are now buying smaller properties and therefore they have not got the space for three sofas. And finally we saw that envelopes were taken out and I think that just demonstrates the point that these days we're much less likely to send things in the post, we're now just emailing instead. So I think these changes to the inflation basket, they do paint quite a nice picture of what is happening here in the UK at the moment. Now moving on to the week ahead, the calendar's looking fairly quiet, but we have got results coming out from plumbing and heating supplier Ferguson and also technology consultancy Accenture. That's it from us. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday.